Hello and welcome to the Birmingham Post Business Bulletin. Today in the newsroom we're looking at the latest developments in the fallout from the collapse of MG Rover. It's emerged that many trade creditors to the collapsed car maker have yet to come forward to claim their part of a £40 million pot. John Griffin's been looking at the story. John, what's happening here? Well, we've now got hold of the, uh, the latest uh, liquidators report, re report uh, which is the third one, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, we've uh, we found out that um, there's, uh, to quote the report, the liquidators estimate that up to £640 million of further claims may be admitted, which is a fairly mind-boggling sum. What's happened here, having spoken to Rob Hunt, the administrator from PricewaterhouseCoopers, is that they're sitting on a £40 million sum in a bank account, um, and many traders and dealers have simply not come forward or at least processed claims to enable themselves to receive the money. And who do we think these creditors are? Most of these people will be dealers, suppliers, possibly one-man band uh, operators, all people who were left out of pocket when uh, the car company closed in um, April 2005. Thanks, John. Also today, we're looking at the two local firms, Pubs Group Marston's and GKN Engineering, who have both been successful in raising funds worth £600 million in total from investors, a fact which has been interpreted as an encouraging sign by the city's investment community. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. Wow.